Another SAT algebra question. Here, the question is asking us which statement is true about the graph of this equation. And we see that the question is asking us about the slope and also the y-intercept. So the question is, how do we find the slope and also the y-intercept of this equation? Well, I will tell you, this equation is actually in the form that we don't like. We like to have a linear equation in the form of, well, you know it, y equals and x plus b. Yes, the famous or well, the infamous y equals mx plus b form. And this is the slope y-intercept form. So let me write that down. The m, the coefficient of x, it's exactly the slope. And then the b right here, it's exactly the, the y-intercept. So if we can write this equation in this form, then we will be able to find out what the slope is and then what the y-intercept is. So let's go ahead and get to work. Let me write this down again. 2y minus 3x is equal to negative 4. And the key is we have to get y by itself. 2y minus 3x is equal to negative 4. Let's go ahead and add 3x on both sides. That way this and that will cancel. And then we get 2y equals 3x. Right, Let's write down the x term first so we can follow this form. And then minus 4. And one more step, this is 2 times y, so we will have to divide this by 2. And in fact, we will have to divide everybody by 2. Like so. So that this and that will cancel. y equals 3 over 2. Let's put on the fraction first, and then put on the x. And then negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. So as we can see, here is the slope, and then here is the y-intercept. The slope is a positive 3 over 2. So we are talking about either this and that. <laughs> and the uh, y-intercept is negative 2, so it's negative. Therefore, the answer is D. We have a positive slope and negative y-intercept, just like this. For more questions like this, check out my playlist and also go ahead and try the official practice questions from College Board. Link will be in the description for your convenience. See you guys at my playlist though.